and now so let's see uh, a sample xcode project so we are going to create a sample xcode project using xcode go to xcode and create a new project select single view based template and give the app name as demo app click on next and create into your desktop so when we create the single view project we'll be getting by default two classes with one design storyboard file on this design storyboard file we can create the design just by drag drop so we can also change the design control to a particular specific device either it is iphone 5 or iphone 6 or 7 so initially in order to start design so we have to consider at least a particular device resolution or device size either it could be either iphone 5 that is iphone 4 inch device or 4.7 or 5.5 inch device so let's see for iphone 6 or iphone 5s okay so let's select the iphone says so 4.7 inch yes so this is the iphone 4.7 that is iphone 6 resolution on this so whatever we want to create yes we can drag drop so this is the one v controller view this is the empty v controller which displays one empty view by default and on this if you want to select the back change the background color yes we can change the background color yes and if you want to create any controls yes so in this we are going to introduce few ui controls like some switch slider as well as some loading indicator and let's see just drag the switch component and simulate the just drag on loading indicator and another one is the segmented control segmented control basically provides horizontally number of segments it's like this another one is slider slider basically provides a variable value and its value we are going to display on one label label basically displays the text okay in this we are introducing few components the ui controls so how do we need to create and how do we need to get the events and actions okay that's what we are going to see so this is switch and we can also change the switch properties by default if you want to set as off yes we can set the off state so and also we can change the tint color for this switch yes we can change the tint color so when it is on state yes this tint color will be displayed and for activity indicator so we basically have three styles that is larger white white and gray style if you select larger white we will be getting the larger style and we can also apply the tint color just like this and let's go to this uh, slider properties and select this slider and what are the uh, properties we have in the slider if you want to see go to attribute inspector here we can see for slider we can set min and max value here so you can set min and max like this and what is the current value instantly if you want to set a current value like 100 yes we can set or if you want to set 50 yes we can set and if you want to set it initial position 0 yes we can set like this and label so by default label text is label and if you want to set font alignment text color background color and all the things we can set in the attribute inspector now let's see this segmented controller properties and here the number of segments are two if you want to give more than two yes we can give. let's change this number of segment to three and we can also change the titles of each and every segment let's select this and give the segment control title as the first segment and its title is something like some red so we are just giving some color names or else we can give some ranking names or whatever it means some categories some green and the third title we can give as something like blue so this is the way how do we need to increase the number of segments basically segment controller contains number of segment buttons so when user tap on each and every button it basically provides event now we have created the design so how do we need to access these design elements and how to receive events from this ui controls in order to access these elements and if you want to receive the events we basically need to provide ib actions and ib outlets so it's simple so go to assistance editor where we see two windows within one single editor now 
it is simple. So, this is the class file. So, we have to drag the connections from design file to class. For switch, it will be having events because user will interact with it just by setting on and off. Select action, give the action name. It is basically user defined name. So, we can give any name like switch action. And it is parameter type class switch because when we tap on this switch, we will get this switch object. And similar to this for activity indicator. So, the loading indicator basically rotates the it is not animate, but we no need to create the events for this. So, anyway if you try to provide the actions, it will not display, I means it just rotates. So, user will not interact with it, activity, just we have to create the outlets. Outlet basically just to access from design file to class, from here to here we can access. So, by using this variable, we can access this loading indicator. So, when user tap on either switch on and off, this action will get called. Now, for the same way, so we can create for slider, just provide the action because user will interact with it. So, we can give the slider action and select the any type, the object parameter type is UI slider because while interacting with the UI controls, we have to receive the object. Next, similar to this, for label, just create one outlet, just label, anyway for label, we cannot create the actions. So, label uses just to display the string text. Okay, it, is, it is used to display the text and similar to this create the action for the segment controller select action and give the action name as segment action and its parameter type class must be of the same class anyway we will see the same class type in the parameter list okay so now see so we have created some ib actions and ib outlets actions to receive the events outlets to just to access from design file to class okay, that is it. Now, let us see how do we need to implement. So, the implementation is nothing but when user tap on the switch what we are going to do. So, in this we basically want to identify whether the switch is on or off how to identify it is simple. So, we have this uh, switch object. So, the switch object dot on basically on is a uh, boolean value. So, which basically provides either true or false. If it is on, yes, it is true. And if it is off, it will go to the else condition. We are just checking by using if condition, either it is on or off. If it is on, do something. If it is off, do something. So, we have to write the code here. So, in this, when the switch is on, we are going to rotate the activity indicator. That is your activity dot, activity dot, so, your activity indicator. So, your activity object, what is your object name? So, here we have activity indicator. So, this is the activity indicator. The object dot, it is having predefined method and start animating. So, when user tap on the, when user tap on uh, switch and if switch is on, so we are starting the activity indicator start animation. So, that means the loading indicator will start spin. Okay. So, the loading indicator will start rotate. So, when user switch off just we are stopping. So, this is just to make how do we need to start and stop the indicator. So, that is what we are learning here. Okay. And now, the same way for the slider when you vary the slider we will be getting the slider value. So, if you want to print yes we can print the slider value in the debug area. Slider dot value. And if you want to display label dot text, label always requires string text. Basically, sender dot value, the uh, slider value is float value. So, we cannot assign float value to the label. In order to assign, we need to make it string format. This is string format, and within the string, if you want to place any variable value in shift, so it must be followed by backward slash, and within parentheses, we need to place the variable value. So, that is it. So, this is the way how do we need to place any strings or any integer or float values values in the middle of strings. So, string format means basically to create a string in a particular format. So, however we want. So, label dot text equal to string means just placing one integer value or float value in the middle of string. Then we must put within parentheses and followed by backward slash. Or that is it. So, this is the way how do we need to get the slider value and we are displaying on the label. And segment action, so when we tap on each segment, 
so when we tap on each and every segment button okay when we tap on each segment button we will get the segment action within the segment action what we are going to do is you just want to identify on which button he tap even if we click on any segment we will be getting calling the same action but we have to identify so whether it is first segment or second button so simple so how do we need to identify so we have to check we are getting the segment control object if segment control object dot selected segment index is equal to 0 0 means it is the first segment else we have to check for other index else if segment control dot selected segment index is equal to 1 else it could be last index we no need to check because if it is not 0 and 1 definitely it could be the 2 that is why so in this we, we want to just change the background color self dot view dot background color how to change current view self dot view and its view and its background color if you want to change just call background color equal to we have a predefined class called ui color dot just we have to apply the colors okay either red or whatever it may be okay so just instead of this red just we are giving some yellow color and the same way when user tap on the third button we just want to change its background color to something like some green and when user tap on last index last button then in the last index we are just changing the color to some blue that is cn light blue color okay see the segment action is same but how do we identify on which button user tap okay so in order to identify so we have to check the selected segment index so when we have three buttons the indexes are three that start from zero to count minus one zero and one and two so zero means first button one means second button and two means the third button that's it now let's see so how to put a debugger what is meant by debugging debugging is nothing but putting a breakpoint and pausing the compiler at a particular place for example when user tap on this switch if user tap on this switch how do we need to get this switch action how to get this switch action so whether this is getting calling or not how to identify put a breakpoint so that we will identify easily whether the compiler is coming to this area or not so we design for iphone 6 let's select the iphone 6 simulator and run the application so when you run automatically simulator will get launched and whatever we design the same screen will appear as it is on the simulator so this is the simulator so when we install the xcode automatically xcode install simulator when we run the project the simulator will get launched whatever we did the design the same design will appear initially it is on state and we can also set the default state as off initially we can set off state now run again yes the switch would be in off state default now when we try to on go to the v controller file so we put a debugger breakpoint so why do we need to put means i want to pass the compiler and execute one by one by line of code let's make it on now you can easily understand whether it is get call or not it is paused now it is on or off yes it is on now when the switch is on we are just rotating the indicator that's it now see the indicator will start rotate when you switch off it comes to else condition we are just stop rotating so that means when you click on any download we can call this method start animation when downloads are finished you can stop animation so in that case we can use these two methods to rotate the loading indicator either it is stop or stop so simple so we have predefined methods okay now to start rotate and stop the animation okay that's it so this is how do we need to get the switch on and off actions as well as how to start rotate so when we switch on if we want to make some settings on yes we can do okay in this case okay we are just rotating the indicator and similar to this when you vary the slider yes we are getting the variable value by using this we can adjust the volume as well as we can also adjust the background color so how to adjust the background color and also we are printing the uh, result of the slider value okay the slider value we are printing it is also printing in the debug area so print statement basically print the output in the debug area and also we are illustrate on the screen okay so what's the max value 250 because we already set the max value for this slider as 250 
Now so let's see. So the segment controller by default first segment is highlighted because it is already selected. Even if you provide nothing is happening. When I click on green, yes, it is changing green color, blue, like this, yellow. So when you user tap on each segment, okay, different background color we are changing. So instead of this, we can also move from one screen to another screen. And if you want to change some settings, yes, we can change. So this is the way. How do we need to get events from this segment control, like this? Slider we can vary as well as the switch we can get on and off actions. So this is the way how do we need to create any UI controls and get actions. And we can also move from one screen to another screen so by using navigation controls. Okay. So that is also we'll see the navigation. How do we need to move from one screen to another screen and how to create number of screens and all the things okay we'll see okay in the next session. Okay, that's it. Thank you.